Despite outcry, a federal government commences recovery of 415 grazing routes. There seems to be no going back on the federal government's stance on recovering grazing routes across the country as it has been exclusively gathered that efforts have commenced to retrace about 415 grazing routes along the grazing reserves. Based on information previous to the Guardian, only buildings and infrastructures that are of public importance will be spared in the exercise. The acting director, Admiral Husbandry Services, Federal Minister of Agriculture, and rural development winning like Solarin, who disclosed that most of the grazing woods have been encroached, said the government will put into consideration if infrastructure on the routes are of on the routes are of public benefits like universities, general hospitals and others, but if otherwise they would be retrieved back. Recall that President Muhammad Buhari recently approved the return to open grazing practice during the First Republic where herdsmen used designated grazing routes to move cattle to other states. In furtherance of this, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Sabu Nanono, revealed about 19 grazing reserves with an approximately 400,000 hectares of land in 10 states have already been in, have already been earmarked for the pilot phase for the National Livestock Transformation Plan. The 10 states are Taraba, Adawa, Benue, to Nasara, Zamfara, Kaduna, Gombe, Kebi, and Oyo. Wow. Okay, so um, it would be nice if they did that in the north. If the northern people are fine with that, absolutely. But if they want to bring that to the south, <laughs> yeah, they're going to have a lot to, to fight with because, excuse me, that's that's where the north and the south clash. The south doesn't want that, okay? If you want to um, graze in the south you buy your own land and you do that with well, gone are the days again we understand that um before okay if it's hard to find good crops you have to walk around da, da, da. but i've got the technology to make sure that you have enough enough feed for your for your cattle so again you can that can be nice do that all around you know um in fact, in fact, they can do it anywhere they want as long as the state agrees. And as long as the, if the state, if it, for example, let's say the governor of the state agrees, but then if the people don't agree, then they can't do it. The people have to vote against it because you cannot just use land. Again, we are so divided. Let's not act like as if Nigeria is one, okay? The indigents of a specific land have the rights to demand, okay, this government constitution, leave that again. Let's not pretend like as if we're out here practicing it too the t's and no we're not we're not practicing it that much so again it's like really and truly it's only the indigents of specific land who have their ancestral lineage you know gone going back there as far as how many thousands of years ago yeah fine those ones are the people that have the right to say anything because let's not pretend again you cannot say the land now because belongs to the nigerian government and use that argument because that will obviously trigger a lot of people so this it don't make sense leave that to the north leave that in northern states absolutely they are fine with it absolutely 100 percent. because really and truly the insecurity that is worrying them in the north is why they want to come to the south especially because their cattle could literally be you know taken by terrorists well they themselves are even causing terror themselves so yeah um i was listening to states taraba adamawa play to you know all these states and um <laughs> and then we went to all your state and i'm like oh let's see what's gonna happen about that um the minister said about 22 states and the federal capital territory had subscribed to the nltp program noting that when fully implemented it will bring to an end the incessant clashes between the farmers and herdsmen and it will at the same time introduce the herders to a modern way of raising their cattle okay now nah. well if we're gonna if we're gonna introduce modern ways to do that it's just really yeah you know what they can do it as long as it does not because again from before it used to clash a lot of things for example you'd see cows crossing you know a zebra crossing or you'd see cows at a traffic light with cars crossing the road just been in places they should not be so in those bushes those you know those areas yes i think that's the best most appropriate place for them 
Um, so let them just not even be in sight at all. Let's just do a thing in the bushes there. The, the, the state can make sure security is tight in those, you know, in those um, remote areas. And in, that's fine. But then those don't bring that kind of, that kind of um, old archaic way to the city. It doesn't work that way. Um, while ruling plans or ruling out plans of carving out new grazing routes, like Solaring said it has become necessary to retrace back all the grazing routes because of ongoing massive development of grazing reserves, adding that it would be important to create routes for the cattle to come to the reserves. All this is long story. Fact is, um, if the site, listen, do what you want, as long as you're not infringe, infringing or, you know, doing things without permission of the actual owners of the land. Um, and yeah, again, except if the state wants it to happen, it's fine. If they don't, fine. But seems like they're going to push for this. And to be honest, I just think it's a bit, it's a bit invasive. I'm not going to lie. Very much invasive. So yeah, I don't think this may work. I don't think it'll last. Again, it's just words. Um, I mean, we will see. We will see. Um, all this maybe it's to make sure to calm the herders down so there's never, you know, another outburst or just a, a new clash all of a sudden because they're being kept waiting and all that. Absolutely not. So yeah, it, it is what it is at this point. Someone here says Nigeria is taking 20 steps backwards. Absolutely, 100%. Um, if you want, again, it's not like I said the, the business for it, the demand for meat is there. It's not like it's not there. So use your own money, use your investment to get your land. I don't think, like, can people who do agriculture, can you give the, how efficient is it? Is there any difference with you? Um, is there any difference with you basically ranching and grazing, like, and open grazing? Like, what's the difference? Is, is it, is it, is it um, more efficient? That's just what it is. That is literally just what it is. So how efficient is it? Somebody here says, and um, people's houses will be demolished because you want to create roots for cows. <laughs> uh, because they said that, you know, they would, you know, demolish, you know, places that are not of public importance. So in my mind, I was hoping and assuming that they logically, you know, used, you know, unused buildings, you know. Again, they have to ask for permission again as well because... If no one owns it, it's fine. But if people own it, you can't do that. But in my mind, I, yeah, that makes sense. They would probably demolish people's houses for cows because cows are first class citizens in this country. Come on, get with the program. It is what it is. Put what you think about it and don't forget to like and subscribe.